Hi gamers, Neil here. I'm here with another video for One Piece Royal Chronicle Straw Hat Trace. Today, I bring you guys a tank tier list for beginners. Here, I'll give you guys a very brief summary, pros and cons for the tanks. For more detailed reviews such as Haki, runes or formation recommendations please check out my other four review videos links in the description okay let's start sitting at number five is nightmare luffy he's a speed based tank he has taunt which forces targets to use basic attacks on him he has damage reduction pro he is a good beginner tank. He's inexpensive to get and rank up. Coins. His passive damage reduction is relying too much on his speed. He's 6 star worthy, but only at 6 star. Sitting at the 4th place is Kuma. He's a reflect damage based tank. He has a stun, a shield that can reflect damage to the attacker. Pro, since Kuma can reflect damage, he is very useful in quick battle situations where you just want to burn the enemy down as quickly as possible. Corn is he tends to die quickly since his abilities are not focused on survivability. Kuma is 6 star worthy but only at 6 star. At number 3 we have Jozu. He is a decent tank with self-defense buff skill, 20% plus. He also has a very good skill that reduces enemy attack by 20% plus. Pro, he is a very decent tank with decent tank skills. Corn. As one of the Emperor heroes, he's a bit more hard to come by. Also, his um, passive shares incoming damage with all other team members. <laughs> what kind of tank is that? But anyway, uh, he's still decent. So he can be 6 star to 7 star. Sitting at second place, we have Marco. He is a very unique self-revival tank. He can also heal himself and one team member when he attacks. Makes him extremely good. You know what they say, a tank can heal himself is a good tank. Pro, he has self-revival, regenerates HP every turn. Also, he has self damage reduction. Coin, as one of the Emperor heroes, he's a little bit hard to come by. So, as top tier tanks, be free to rank him from 6 stars to 10 stars. Coming at first place is Shengoku. I would like to call him Bubble Buddha. He specializes in shielding. He has a damage soaking shield every turn and also has an immunity shield. He also can reduce enemy attack when he attacks. Needless to say, he is the best tank in the game. You can rank him up from 6 star to 10 stars. Okay guys, that concludes today's video. As always, please leave your questions in the comments below. Take care and uh, thanks for watching.